with our generation now, now they're not serious. Most of them want to play around. Find peace within yourself. Find happiness. Know that you can be alone with yourself. <sighs> I want a girlfriend now. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Lads Talk podcast. Thank you again for joining, for listening to us. Uh, and before we go any further, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Today we are talking about relationships to put it to summarize it if you can um you know it's winter season um i don't know how that's related in any way shape or form it's such a weird of fun <laughs> yeah i yeah. am uh but it's winter i thought maybe people want to feel warm not just you know with their blankets but they want to feel warm inside in their hearts um shout out to my future wife wherever you may be And uh, <laughs> you're <very> smiling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. Let's start off with Garris's relationship with the uh, dessert shop owner, <laughs> which, <laughs> which you just came back from. Go on, go on, Garris. Have a run. So, Celine <coughs> ordered for me. Uh, uh, you told me what you wanted. Yeah, I know, but I'm, um, t- I know you didn't mess, I'm, t- I'm not saying you messed uh, up. So, it was a uh, yeah, yeah. Kinder Bueno chocolate. And he was like, Do you want whip- whipped cream? And I was like, Yeah. So then, guess what the... Oh, I was so close to swear. Guess what the guy made at the back, yeah? Wiked. Kinder Bueno chocolate. Wiked. You know Wiked. That, that. Wiked. <laughs> well, I feel sick and I've got a sore throat because of him. I don't know what he put in the milkshake. Like, you guys know me. I've finished the milkshake. Well, even food fam. I didn't... I, bro, ask Jamie. There was a lot in there, wasn't it? <laughs> exactly. That's a lot for me now. For me, that's a lot. Two hours later. Basically, if he looks like he's about to die... Okay, it's because he probably is. There's something in there's something in that milkshake. All right, let's carry on with the podcast. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay, relationships. Yes. Um. I'll start off with our resident expert on relationships, Jamie. Oh. Um, <laughs> Jamie, <clears throat> why don't you enlighten us on your opinions on the current state of relationships? Okay, just to open up the conversation, and then we'll start. <laughs> Huh? I mean, Gareth talks about this recently, actually. Have you actually? Okay, yeah. guys. So, why don't you guys, since you guys had a conversation, why don't you guys start off with that and then we'll, we'll ease in from there? So, we're talking generally about about girls and our generation, isn't it? Yeah, remember, yeah. remember that convo? Uh-huh. Yeah. And we're saying how, you know, with this generation and our generation, it's finished. It's a bit messed up. Yeah. Like, it's very rare in terms of to find, like, a genuine, genuine, genuine good hearted girl. He wants to commit and stuff. Otherwise. Yeah. He no doesn't want to play around with you with your feelings, basically. Mess about. Yeah. There's all of, um... I believe there's a girl out there, but it's so difficult. You it's get very it. rare Because it's most of them just mess people. about. You get it. And they don't fit within your category criteria, or boxes. Yeah. yeah, that's the criteria. Of what you want in a person. Yeah. Everyone's always messing around and wanting to... You know, have fun like, and not you be... can jump in as well. You guys can agree, yeah. isn't it? Like, with our generation now... now they're not serious. Most of them want to play around. Yeah, of course there are there are um, some that genuine ones, but it's very rare. And it's a very small amount of those girls. Mm. Well, I want to hear from Jamie a bit more. Also, do you want to go into it a bit? Yeah, because you can have all these dating websites and stuff. People aren't on there being genuine. They're either catfishing, or they're just lying about who they are. It's either a personal problem, or they're just a, a bad person, and they're just messing around, or they made a fake account and just to mess you around and play you kind of or because they're bored imagine you're genuinely chatting to a girl here but but People when there's a girl or a guy but behind the screen is they're just it's just a catfish and it's them not being genuine because they're because they're bored they want to waste their time or mess around. so they make it seem like to you because you're on text that it's genuine and it's calm in it but then then afterwards all of a sudden they just ghost you or whatever mm. And from that, you're, even though it's not a proper relationship, you 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 slowly get traumatized, in it? It will affect you in a way. Yeah. Or someone who is serious, but they're just horrible, just a horrible human being, and they're just gonna be controlling or whatever's wrong with them. They put that onto you. Okay. So so then, um, how would you nav- navigate around that? Then what would you do? Was it what Jamie said or what I said? What you just said about like the whole concept oh, of the no. you can't trust girls nowadays, etc. Or guys, yeah, what? The, the, you can be both ways. <clears throat> you can be both ways. I mean, mm. The guys out there. Yeah, but because yeah, um, the way to go about it is, for me, um, 
like this online thing is is not it because it's very you can get catfished easily so for me it's about starting off as friends but you know the whole process friends then 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 getting to know each other the relationship you need to find someone in person so for example a workplace yeah as in your workplace mm. so you get to know them on a friends level and then you can see how they are as a person in it you get it mm-hmm. and then once you trust them and if you do like them then you can move it forward and they're not catfishing because you've already seen them in real life yeah do you get what i'm saying you can't get catfished like that yeah, there's no because because the first time you're person. seeing them is in person. Yeah, and from then onwards, you're like, I want to get to know them, and if you click, you click in it, and then you just keep taking the next steps if you think it's necessary. Yeah, if not, you just walk on, next, and move on. So, w- what's your um? By the way, guys, Daniel is here today. Yeah, he's just waiting for his turn. But um, okay. So, what was because. <clears throat> when I get to Daniel and myself, I'm going to say it in a different way because we're Muslim, we have a different way of going about it, right? Um, what is your method of, like, how do you, do you know what I mean? Like, okay, when I was younger, I'll just give you examples so you understand my brain, how I'm, I'm trying to phrase the question. When you're younger, you're like, okay, I'm born, I'm, I'm a little kid, um, now I'm a guy, as in like, I'm older, I'm mature, I understand. How do you get to that process where you you're like, I want a partner or I want a wife or whatever. How do you get to that stage? Do you know what I mean? Like you guys can say it personally if you want, you don't have to, but like what age did you say to yourself, oh yeah, you know what? I don't mind opening that side of me up. You know what I mean? Because do you remember, I remember in year five or year six, girls, uh, oh, no, no, do you remember no, 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 no. that stuff? Yeah. Like girls, ew, that's gross, that and whatever. And then that doesn't always stay, does it? Yeah, if I'm married, I'm gonna say wife. Ew. <laughs> it's my wife. You, yeah, it doesn't. That doesn't stay. So, like, where, where's that turning? Oh. Where's that turning point? When does that change? Or, like, can? No, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I don't know how to answer. So basically, it's obviously different to everyone, but there's obviously different circumstances which make them to have that feeling in it. Yeah. It could be online, uh, social media, friends, public, and you're like, oh, you know, I want a partner. I want to be in relationship with me. Yeah. Um, the, when I first got that feeling, <laughs> I, I was watching this Tamil song called Selfie Pula, and I don't know why. Yeah, after that, I was like, <laughs> I'm getting a girlfriend now. <laughs> what is it? Selfie. Selfie Pula. Oh, I will send you the link. You can leave it. No, no, no I don't want to watch. Oh. It's, I, I'm it's just not, asking. Like, oh, yeah, it's called Selfie Pula. Selfie Pula. Is it? Yeah, yeah Pula. <laughs> selfie you know what Pula means? It means no. kid. Selfie kid. No, no, no. As in like It's selfie Are you talking about the selfie Yeah selfie yeah, yeah And yeah. then pull the tongue on it kid Selfie kid What's that got to do with dating No I just watched that song in it uh, that, that song I think it was in 20 When was it from 2019 I think It was in 2019 2019 And I was like oh, I want a girlfriend now <laughs> And Did you ever get into a relationship Yeah Yeah Wait, let me talk. <laughs> Yeah I did uh, Yeah I've been, I've been in relationships Relationships Yeah Oh okay So when did you first Do your Like your first one First one I would say is When was it 2020 What would you Let's say your Younger brother Or sister Or whatever sibling They are 18 Just like you were And they're thinking Of getting to a relationship Because they watch Selfie Pulla Okay <laughs> Alright So they want to also Get into a relationship So what's the first thing You're going to tell them They come to you bro I want to get into a re- I watch selfie pulla and I want to get into a relationship. Okay, what are, they, what are you going to say to them? What's the first um, thing? So, um, no, nah, okay, so I'll tell them, yeah, to focus on yourself and not get into a relationship. Obviously, at the end of the day, they don't want to listen to me, but that's the first advice I would give. Because looking back and from like people around me that I know, uh, yeah, it's better to focus on yourself and then later on, once you're in a better position in life, then you can you know do whatever you want in that part of your life that's what i would say yeah i think that's healthy advice um because many people can agree obviously not you guys but yeah, because back then that's when you're starting in it you're starting like what you want to do in life you like finding what route you want to go down people are still lost in it mm. so once you stabilize after a few years and you've literally got like a vision and you know what you're doing and you're working towards it then i th- then i would say it's fine and also you mature you learn you like you, you know you're old enough you mature so it will be a more healthier relationship than toxic 
and that's that's why it doesn't work out like people who uh, love each other from secondary school and stuff from young age if you see online bro the percentage of how many actually get through and married is very very low i only know like two or three people from tiktok imagine but imagine how many people actually fell in love from you know secondary school and broke up mm. because because age comes into a factor as well 100 percent. as in would you, maturity would you yeah because you have age doesn't yeah because of your maturity like yeah i would say yeah i was mature at 18 but looking back at it now you know i can take obviously I, i'll take in a good way because i've learned a lot of lessons but you know if i was to get into a relationship now i would handle it different to back when i was 18 19 mm-hmm. even though what it was a few years ago literally mm-hmm. so those few years can make a big difference yeah jimmy i'm gonna come i'm gonna come back to you because danielle's not spoken yet yeah but danielle as muslims okay how do we approach this uh this topic what's your uh, opinion how do we approach <laughs> how do we approach it how do we approach it yeah <clears throat> last christmas <laughs> okay <laughs> okay go on what, what was your what's the islamic approach what's the muslims approach you know what it is you go to the door, I want to marry your daughter. <laughs> yeah. Religion, uh, the Islamic take on it. The reason I'm going to go with this is even people at work have asked me, yeah, or how, how does it work, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So uh, let me explain. It's very simple, very easy. This is the ha- halalist way I can think of in this Western world that we're living in. Okay. In back home countries or, or traditional uh, places, it, it will be different. But here, this is how the most halal way I can see it. When a guy likes a girl or a girl likes a guy, you go to the parents. Why? Because the parents are never going to take you on dates. The parents are never going to go out with you and break your heart. Do you know what I mean? Parents are there to protect you. Okay? Now, there's going to be people watching this. Oh, my parent. Uh, I have a single parent. Or my dad is not present. My mom is not present. La, la, la. They're so strict. The, this is just a general overview. overview. This is how it works. Individual cases, you do it in an individual way, okay? But it, it, the the concept remains the same. A chaperone, even, okay? What's so a I'll explain. So a, sh- a woman in Islam, women are very uh, pure, treasured um, people in Islam, okay? We have rights of women. We have a whole chapter in the Quran, which is very long about the rights of women and how valuable women are, okay? When you want to engage in a relationship with a woman, okay, it's very important that you look after all avenues, okay, because you have to protect their modesty. What do you see? Is I heard this thing someone said, yeah, um, a woman is like a lock, and a man is like a key, okay. If a lock can be accessed by many keys, okay, then that lock is faulty, or that lock is it's not any good. Yeah, yeah. This, and but if a man, uh, was it a man can access any lock, he's called the master key. Okay, now I'm not saying that's the correct way to look at how men should be, men should have many relationships, and women should only have one. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the, the concept, the idea mm-hmm. is correct in the sense that in society, when you look at a man and the man's doing that stuff, people will look at it and be like, mm, something don't seem right about that, but then they forget about it. Yeah, oh, he's done it. Yeah, he's a player. That's it. When a woman does it, how do they look at that woman? You can say it straight right now. There's a couple of words they begin with S. That's the first thing. Or W. Yeah. Or H. This is the words that will come up straight as soon as you look at a woman. That's why in Islam, Islam already knew about this. Islam already knew. Islam already uh, knew that women are very, uh, you know, precious and treasured, and that's why we have to look after them. Okay, otherwise their value will go down because of these things. Okay, then you guys, what you guys said about how people approach relations nowadays, this thing, they're not the Western world that we're currently living in, they've made it as though that is the ideal thing. Yeah, women, you're so powerful, you can do that. You're giving your power away, really, Mm. because every man wants that woman. Do you know what I mean? But only one empowerment, empowerment, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So that's the that's the thing that's being lost here. The value of the woman is being taken, dragged down, and uh, no, but it's true. Though sorry to interrupt. The more times the the, the example game, the more times you use the 
uh, you use, you use the lock with the key, the mm. the value goes down. Yeah, that's that. As in, that's the whole idea. So anyway, long story short, in Islam, what we do is, if a guy likes a girl, vice versa, you involve the parents or you involve a chaperone. Now you ask what a chaperone. A chaperone is a an accompanier. Okay, let's pretend. Uh, let's pretend uh, I want to marry uh, a woman, future wife. Uh, so <laughs> I I should ideally I should accompany I should only meet with her to talk to her, engage and, and stuff like that. If her father or a no, a mahram they call mahram means a a man that that woman can't marry. Pretty much, okay. To simply like her dad, she's not marrying her dad. She's not marrying her brother. Her, uh, I think, her paternal uncle, her grandfather. These kind of relationship. Her son, if she's a widow, these kind of uh, men are allowed to accompany her. Okay, as long as they're of age and they're mature past puberty, and I can meet her in their presence because I'm never going to try anything. It's not going to happen, you know. So that's that way you keep human eyes on you, and also you in front of God and stuff. You make sure you maintain your modesty. Otherwise, if it's just you two. There's no limit. There's, you know, you're not gonna think twice. You're like, yeah, it's just me and her. We, we'll do whatever we want. So to protect that, yeah, before it can get to guys, you talking about the heartbreak stage. You can't get to the heartbreak stage. It's it's nearly impossible to get to the heartbreak stage because who are you going to? How are you gonna break her heart if her dad in in front of you or her brother's in front of you? You're gonna be you're gonna be thinking twice. Yeah, you're gonna be much nicer and 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 so on and so forth. And this is why in Islam we do it like that. That's how we approach. You can't call it dating. That's how you approach marriage, really. Okay, um, and I think it's really important. I don't want to talk too much, but it's really important that you know when you approach um, relationships in this day and age, the relationships that we see nowadays is very rare to find relationships that last ages. Okay, and one is lack of commitment. Okay, <clears throat> people feel like they can't commit. Yeah, the first thing that you don't commit with people don't commit with these. That's one thing. Yeah, and it's so difficult to commit with these. You know, what I'm pointing to not the big nose. I'm pointing to my eyes. Yeah, they don't commit with their eyes. Like you're with someone on Instagram, you're still following or whichever thingy. You're still following women half clothed and all this stuff on TikTok. When you're scrolling, you're seeing them on YouTube shorts, whatever. You're not guarding this. You're not committed with this. You know what I mean? Otherwise, what would you do if if it comes across your way and you can't help it? That's a different story. But when you don't guard this, you're you're asking for trouble okay it's very difficult this is the first type of commitment so commitment is one big issue people don't commit and the second thing is resentment yeah when people get into a relationship let's say if i got into a relationship when i was 16 or 17 or something yeah very young okay and let's say i had this relationship all the way until 10 years 15 years whatever okay and then i decide to get married okay that's 15 years of resentment that I've spilled up with someone who's not my wife Someone who I had, I didn't have the full, you know, the commitment, the ring finger commitment. I didn't have that with, you know. What I mean, it wasn't governed by anything. There's no reason for me to be with them. There's no reason for them to be with me. There's no sort of safety for either of us. Okay, and what will happen? Oh, because of you, uh, I could have been saving for the wedding. I could have been saving for a house. I could have done this, la 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 la. But instead, we were dating. Da, da, da. That's what happens. You're asking for resentment, you know. Um, so those two are the issues, and then what do, what happens? People break up, resent. I resent you. Inside, they won't say it outside. They'll just make it all nice, but inside, they're not feeling it. They're like, oh, because of them, I didn't get to do this and that. You don't want that. You want to be healthy first. Discover yourself. Know yourself first. Work hard on yourself. Yeah, and then afterwards, someone else who's also done that same thing. Then you want to get together, isn't it? And then you want to seal it and secure it. You don't want to be like, oh, you know what? Th this is why I don't like dating. I don't get it. I'm going to date you to do a, a, a free trial before I buy the premium version. Okay, I want to do a free trial with you of this relationship to see if it works and do everything under the sun, even the most intimate, private things. I want to do all of that and then I'm going to marry you. I don't get that because then you've ruined it. You've ruined them for someone else. You've ruined yourself for, for whoever your wife is meant to be, you know, and I don't understand that. So that's why in, in, in Islam it's governed like that it's, it's, it's for your protection Okay um, So we'll come back to it. Okay Jamie I have a question for you though Before Because I want to go into marriage a bit more So then You said You mentioned uh, the You know The girls here Or the girls nowadays They only do it You know thing. You don't know what to trust So First of all What is your type then That you would uh, You know what, what are you looking for One And where would you find it That's 
that would be my um, question. Obviously, looking for something serious, something meaningful, not just oh, we're going to have fun, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Something serious and genuine, meaningful. So we're church. Yeah, church. They'd be well if they if there's madness there, then. <laughs> Is that train? I don't think there's madness at church. Do you Hope think? not. If there is, that's mad. But yeah, you'd feel somewhere like that. Church. Did you say online or not online? No, not online. Oh. No, that's the last place. Last place? I wouldn't even have that <laughs> on my list, fam. <laughs> Yo, go on, bruv. Not online. So, th- it's funny. I'm you pretty me- full about it. I don't know. You mentioned not online, but um, we all know Daniel, uh, he is uh, currently registered on three different single Muslim <laughs> websites. So, Muzmaj, what was the other one? Minder? And uh, selfie pulle, was that? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, um, no, I'm so um, no, no, but okay, so not online. So, where then? Like, I don't know, I haven't really. Do you think too many places that's bad? You can't, that's another problem. There's too mm. many places that's bad, yeah. And even the whole online thing is a problem, but then it's a problem in person as well, yeah, because of people being hurt and horrible people. Yeah. So it's making people more push back and guarding themselves. Yeah. Like the second you talk to someone, someone's going to think like, oh, he's a creep because they've had so many people before. It's like, oh, is this person going to play me around? It's yeah, like trust is another thing. Yeah. Comparison is another one. Yeah. Yeah. So at this and point. stereotyping, I guess. At this point, we just become monks, you know. That's just, this is this is like no options left, you know. Bro, I'm gonna be single forever, man. <laughs> <laughs> now just watch selfie pulle, you you get your motivation back, okay? Is it pulle? Am I saying it right? Yeah, yeah pulle. Um, the, but uh, I was talking to someone recently about this. You know, do you, have you guys heard of passport men? Passport men? No. Something no. like that. Is apparently um British people, British guys, they go to Asian countries or like e- Eastern countries, and they go and um get married there they buy a wife there it's called buy a wife i think it is post buy post wife? post wife or something there's a there's a term yeah if you know it put it in the comments but there's they Yo, can you take a, a moment why the flip do you look so weird all of a sudden you're yes. right the so, <laughs> <laughs> so so well listen so um they they go um they go to um co- other countries basically yeah and then they get married there and then they bring their wife here and they because their wife has more traditional values because uh, con- uh, girls in this country don't have traditional values they don't want to stay at home they want to work uh, and they want to build their career they don't want to focus on family cause, so that's why they do that you, you guys haven't heard of this stuff I know this what but I didn't know it's called passport men or well, obviously I know about this but I didn't know it's called passport men what are we talking men. about something 30k you lots mentioned before oh yeah so basically you know how um, well, what, what's that thing when you get someone from um Outside of the UK, in it, mm. uh, the minimum thing was eighteen thousand something, in it. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Wait, explain probably what's eighteen. What, what is? Also, you so, need to be earning. Sorry, you need to be earning eighteen thousand. Let's say, let's say eighteen thousand five hundred. Yeah, uh, to that's a sponsor someone. Yeah, sponsorship. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah. yeah. Now they've increased it to five. Five. Yeah, I was thirty. Wait, wait, wait. If you get married to a woman back home. You want to bring them, what about if a woman marries a man back home? Same thing. Same thing. And you want to bring them to the country? The main thing is sponsorship, isn't it? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. So if you want to sponsor someone here, uh, right, well, right here now. Here or back home? To come yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Okay. To bring it here from back home, it's 18,500. But now, from next year, January or something, they're going to increase your, the salary. Well, you should be earning 38,000. It's mad. Ma- uh, marriage has become like um, a business now. If yeah. You look at it, 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 that, that's basically an what, what, what's, the, what's that No Neck Adam show called in general? What was it? <laughs> no <laughs> that Neck Adam. What's oh, your yeah, 90 Day Fiance. No Neck Adam. That, that greasy guy. The greasy hair guy. And he puts a button. <laughs> what does he wear in his hair? <laughs> Mayonnaise on his hair. Oh, man. Oh. That guy. And he has no neck. He's crazy. But he's rich, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, but that's that. I told you. I'm telling you, marriage has become a business. Yeah, there's it's expenses. The the wedding itself is like the uh, oh, what do you call it? Weddings, man. Oh my god. The wedding is. I don't even know what you want to call the wedding. To be honest, yeah. Wedding. You got the wedding. I. You know. I heard a story. I think I mentioned this on podcast before. But did I tell you about the that million pound wedding? In the no. UK, is in Luton. Yeah. Oh, there's, you did. I think I, uh, I, I think I, re- I mentioned it. So there's this um, guy. He went to our mufti and the uh, you know mufti. Is like a islamic leader he knows the laws of the islam and stuff so he went to him and he went with a problem he's like i just got married and my wife oh, she, yes. oh, yeah my wife oh. she left me on the first night 
Uh, and he's Mufti's like, okay, explain what happened. He goes, okay, so uh, you know, the, we we found this woman. It was an arranged marriage. We found this woman, and you know, I gave her seven hundred thousand uh, pound uh, uh, engagement ring. That's it with the two hundred thousand one uh, band to join with it. You know, like they have the engagement ring and they and they have a band. Uh, with it yeah so 200k on that so that's 900k i bought her a car a range rover a g-wagon or something i don't know how much it costs but he, he, that's what the guy mentioned and then yeah then he spent about uh he spent a good did he say um 100k on the actual wedding with the venue and the hiring cars and everything all of that all together he spent over a million pound yeah he spent over a million pound for the wedding just the one day not the lifetime just the one day and on the wedding night the woman she just like got there she had all the gifts everything called her brother and she said take me home i don't want to be here that's it marriage done but that's why he went to the mufti he's like what should i do because she says she don't want to be with me anymore so the mufti is like and you realize the the more higher you know the more um, the higher the amount you spend on the wedding the less baraka the less blessing you have in your marriage mm. because y your marriage started off uh, about being rich and having money and stuff like that you know um, which is why marriage is a really important topic like i say it's like a business deal but how would you guys do your wedding small and not that much, but and only close people, close family, and close friends. That's it. Not oh, the typical Asian. Oh my god, <laughs> invite the farmer next door, <laughs> 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 or the fisherman. That's Come on, true. bro. <laughs> the, thing is, the thing is, let's say like I'm getting married to this guy. The main thing is parents, in it. Like the tip, the typical thing, in it. They'll be like, they'll just and give it to random people. They, you don't even know them yet. They'll they'll just just pull up. Mm. And and like Asian people, I think we've spoken about this before in the podcast here. Yeah, but Asian people's mindset when it comes to weddings, yeah, the bigger it is, like it's like uh, they they want to show it off to, yeah. uh, um, like uh, jealous uh, families. Kind of status. It's like no, no, it's not. It it's status, but it's to show off to their family, in it. Like Asian, yeah, like true. the relationship they have with um other families, like literally blood, is so weird, man. They want to show off. And it's true Everything I'm saying is true Come on It is true They want to show Can you not up. agree And they're like Oh if we don't do it like that Then people are going to think We're poor People yeah, are going to think Oh you know One of the ones I heard recently is It really annoyed me um, If we don't do it like that They will think Oh something happened Between my son uh, or And and daughter uh, As in their daughter Or my daughter and the son Something like that uh, Some Something probably happened That's why they got them married like this No it's not about that You, you literally Following your religion One If it is a religious thing Or number two you're literally securing your life you, they can use that imagine you spend 20k on a wedding that 20k you put it towards the house deposit yeah. buy a car do oh, go on a holiday oh, go, yeah go on a nice holiday let them go enjoy their life together let them start out right you're starting them off broke and then you're gonna enter there and they expect them to be happy and then then you're next defending them oh our oh, honor's gonna go if they get divorced well you didn't leave them anything to have a life with in the first place you know that's why it's it's just stupid but um that's it okay one piece of advice that's it yeah give one piece of advice <coughs> to the youth who are thinking about relationships right now uh, be independent um save up money have a career um you know have your career in mind even though you're not there like find like uh, every and stuff so you know what you're doing in life and um, if you want some like a certain person try to be that yourself before seeking it in the other person and um, yeah that's it i i saw um someone gave advice on that i can't remember who but they said something like um the best advice i ever got in my life was uh, write a list of all the qualities um you want in someone else and then be that yourself yeah. something like that i thought that's that's quite profound because do you know what I mean? If you be that yourself, you start noticing other people who are like that. You know what I mean? But if you're lacking yourself, that's the one. That's another thing. You know, I mentioned resentment. Mm -hmm. The reason you resent other people or you resent your partner is because you yourself aren't good enough. You're not. You're not happy with yourself. People who are happy with themselves and they're like, you know what? I've hit my peak. I'm doing my best. They will be happy with someone else, you, or they don't really care about what the other person is doing. You know. Uh, so I think that's another important thing. You don't resent yourself. Or don't give yourself a chance to resent yourself. And and my final advice really is, before I move on to you guys, is 
don't get into a relationship when you're young and stupid and you don't understand how the world works you don't understand how life works and you're not ready to f- provide for this person from top to bottom mentally emotionally financially everything if you can't do all of that don't get into a relationship yet wait build yourself become literally the full pack full package and then get into a relationship okay because you'll be able to give everything to them and then you'll also be able to see if they're giving everything to you and then you're sorted because relationships we've said it before relationships aren't 50 50 they're 100 100 you have to be able to give 100 percent of yourself mm. and you have to make sure there's something worth giving 100 percent of you know what i mean you don't want a raisin size amount of character and you're giving 100 percent of your raisin to people <laughs> that doesn't seem that doesn't seem fair you know uh what would your advice be jamie what, would, what advice would you give yourself? <clears throat> what I give myself? Um, yeah, like we were saying, what you look in someone else, look within yourself or become that, what you want. Um, don't become reliant or... I forget, reliant on someone. Don't like... Be, be dependent on relying on them. Don't go for something just for the sake of it. You know, Find peace within yourself find happiness know that you can be alone with yourself with your thoughts with your life and once your life's happy then once you're happy within yourself then you can find happy outside it's all about you first start with you work your in, work inside out or inside work your way out Gareth? yeah so with all the stuff we've done in this podcast um, the last thing I'll say is uh, don't know where you're standing meaning that like you know when you look around you're like oh like whether it's a, a young age or an older age you're seeing actually no this is more for the younger people like um, you see everyone get into a relationship and you're the, and you want to get into one just because your friends or the people around you are but you know you're not ready and stuff so just because of that sake you might be talking to someone else or you just might lower your standards and just for the sake of that game, for the sake of relationship, lower your standards. And it's not worth it at the end of the day because at the end, it's going to be a heartbreak and that comes with many problems. I can't remember if um, it's an Islamic court or something, but someone said uh, relationships or like marriage, it starts as love, uh, but as you get older, it turns into mercy. Uh, meaning you like when you get older your looks fade you don't care about love or lust like oh you know no one's there at granny and grandpa age thinking wow you're hot <laughs> you know <laughs> that's not something that you do you know but you look at them you're like wow i've been with them this long you know I, I, i'm gonna make sure i look after them it turns into mercy isn't it so make sure you keep that in mind that it's not always going to be about looks like some people are out i've seen some stupid things yeah like oh I need someone who's got six figures, seven figures. What the, what was that? Shut up, okay? There's like the seven it. figures, people who are seven, six, seven, seven figures. That's like 2% of that population uh, or one less than two, like 0. Point something percent of the population. It's weird. I don't understand. And then another thing I find weird is I don't like when people post relationship stuff on social media. I find that weird. I, I don't know about you guys. Like, Well, as in, the, as in their relationship no, or stuff or good. stuff? Like, as in their relationship. Their relationship, like, they publicize the full thing. Like, that's dangerous, you know? I, I find that dangerous to do. Not because... As in, like, public, public, or public on their account? As in, like, on their account, like, oh. their account, I mean, like, people can see public. That's public, isn't it? Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you have only your family are on your social media, which, how many people can yeah. say that it's only family on social media? Like, I find that dangerous. You You're posting your... Uh, your relationship so publicly anyone can give you I'm Muslim so I think about evil eye you know what I mean you're, there's evil eye to worry about no, 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 that's there's, in the back of my mind as well yeah there's jealousy people can come and something jealousy, think, jealousy is a big thing man oh my god yeah it's, a, it's, it's dangerous like you I don't know I, I thought I don't know if it's just me or something but genuinely speaking uh, sorry give me two seconds genuinely speaking but posting your relationship publicly is super dangerous you know uh you have for example and then there's people like holding hands and then writing quotes and stuff like that oh i found you here why are you giving the reason why i don't like it okay this is my justification for not liking it why are you giving people a fake image of what love is meant to look like why are you giving people a fake image of what relationships meant to look like yeah like oh he came home with 80 roses in a bouquet or something okay all right and then there's there's a guy who's working his socks off 
to feed you daily and you know i mean like he's not got the best education maybe he's not been given the best chance and yet he's still working like a dog to feed you but that's not romanticized you only romanticize flowers and pink things and purple things and red things that's not good enough you know that's why i don't like i don't like people romanticizing relationships to that level romanticize it within yourself yeah look at what you already have look at the relationship you already have and romanticize that if you got children together romanticize your children why why are you not looking at that you're looking at other things oh this is flashy this is nice this is princess like and that materialistic Mat- that's thank you the, it's materialistic like you don't focus on the stuff that actually will matter you know and then what will you do you leave the guy or you go with someone else or you you leave them and you're just miserable by yourself and then uh, what happens or oh, oh, i'm so depressed or oh, i'm not happy and then you get depressed i don't get it it's it's there's a culture of ungratefulness uh, that we have in our relationships and obviously I'll, I'll finish on this point yeah like that we're always we're talking about obviously marriage romantic relationships yeah don't take your friendships for granted and your family for granted as well in most people they get into a relationship they drop all their friends okay they get into a relationship they'll drop their family don't do that okay you've known that person for how x amount of time you've known your family since you're born you've known your friends for have a long piece of time monitor your behavior monitor your personality i'm not going to change someone will like me and they chose me because i'm me if they chose you only to change you they didn't choose you because you're you they chose you because they probably need someone at that time if you're going to change yourself then that's that's not the one just get out of the relationship you, cha- stop talking to them. you change yourself for yourself to improve in it you don't change because yeah. someone else thinks you look better than no that's not how it works they you are you and someone will like you because you're you okay and that's not on them they work around you meaning they like you for who you are yeah some people have never been in a relationship okay some people have not Hello been there. with someone it's lonely is this stop buying your nails okay it's lonely is this <laughs> <laughs> it's lonely it's this i can't do this i can't do that don't change because oh i'm gonna make someone like me that it just means that it's reserved you know that that spot you're that type of unique person or you're that type of special person that it's going to take a special person to have to be with you come to you at the right time just be patient and don't rush there you go. and focus on yourself build Everyone- yourself up Everyone's story is different, okay? Some people meet the love of their life from when they were a child, okay? Some people meet the love of their life when they're slightly older. Some people meet them at work. Some people meet them at the library. Some people meet them at Asda or Sainsbury's, okay? <laughs> Daniel meets them at night when he the moon comes out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the point is, don't rush, okay? Well, and we hope that... Uh, this advice doesn't fall on deaf ears okay the world is a weird place the western countries are weird places okay we've lost our way a bit okay value the relationships you have is very important okay um just to finish off the other relationship there's one other relationship that you should value this is so important okay and you know what if you haven't listened and if everything we've said has gone over your head this whole episode just listen to this value your relationship with god okay huh? it's very important okay gary thought i was gonna say value your relationship <laughs> yeah, with this channel yeah. I, I was gonna and then i thought about it, i was like no nah, i don't want him to win okay <laughs> look if you liked the video leave a like on the video make sure you're subscribed share this video with others we're trying to grow okay with the lads talk we're still talking <laughs> What's the time? It's nearly 11.15. Boy, it's so late at night. At night man. Okay, guys, we hope you enjoy this episode. Okay, this is brought to you by Lads Talk. Uh, I'm Sadiq. This is Jamie. That's Garis. Behind the camera is Daniel. We hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. Leave a like on the video. Share. And we'll see you whenever we see you. It's an inside joke between us. What happens if the relationship with anything is broken? What do you do with the relationship? You must fix the relationship.